Hi everyone! <laughs> oh, that was a bit close. Um, welcome to the show. I'm here to talk to you today about part two um, of my summer dress season blog posts that I'm doing throughout July. Um, so this is week two. First week was the Betty dress, the big swooshy dress, which I chatted to you about last week. Um, and I've uploaded that video onto YouTube as well. So if you missed that one, then you can catch it up there. Um, but today I'm going to be talking to you about the simple classic dress. And for this dress, I've chosen the Colette Laurel pattern. Thanks for joining everyone everyone, hi. Um, if you're new to my broadcasts um, and you don't know who I am, then I'm Lauren and I love sewing. I've been sewing all my life. Um, hi Thrifty Stitcher. Um, and I own my own fabric shop in Birmingham um, where I teach workshops as well. Um, you can find the link in my profile and I totally love sharing all my sewing tips and everything with you. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. So today is part two of the summer dress season. Um, and as I said before, it is the simple classic dress that I'm going to be chatting to you about today. So I chose this pattern here, which is the Colette Laurel. Um, and if none of you have come across Colette pattern, before they are really really good especially for beginners because the instructions are awesome and um, so you get it you get like a little booklet inside and there, there's just loads and loads of diagrams it just makes it makes all of the steps really really easy and um, so they're good if you're quite new to dressmaking as well so as you can see there's four versions with this pattern and um, it's a really really versatile um, garment that you can make from this pattern um, lovely top, Lauren, thank you. Um, it's actually a dress, which I shall show you in a second. Um, so there's, if you, if you can't keep the connection, don't worry, I'm gonna put this on to YouTube later. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, okay, so, sorry, I was just checking, I was recording. Um, so what I've done, although this, this comes with four variations, um, I, I've actually made two other variations to show you just how versatile it can actually be. Thanks for the hearts. Um, so the, what I'm wearing just now is one of the dresses. So as you can see, it's just quite a plain sort of simple dress. Um, it's got bust starts here and then it's sort of fitted at the back. So it's kind of loose around about this area. Um, I have been wearing it with a belt as well, which looks quite nice. Um, and what I've done is added a yoke section to it. So you can see that there's two different fabrics here. So I've just... I've just um, split the bodice piece um, into two sections. I just marked on the center fold of the pattern, I just marked a line, um, I think I did a line about maybe about three and a half inches down, and then I did three inches down from the um, bottom of the armhole and just drew a curved line and added my seam allowance on, so that gave me the yoke. Um, and then I've also done the same at the back, I don't know if you can see that. So. I've just got a sort of curved joke section here. So for that top bit, I've used a really, really nice cotton eyelet fabric. Um, and then for the bottom, I've used this, um, it's like a really pale pink seersucker fabric, which is what we have here. This is the seersucker. I'm gonna put it a little bit closer to the camera so you can see it. Um, it's a really nice, fresh, summery one. And then unfortunately, I sold out of this exact um, caught an eyelet but I do have some other ones and um, so I've got this one which is really nice and I'm going to hold it up so you can sort of see through it it's almost like kind of like circles kind of it's a really nice one and um, and then I've also got this one here this one and um, which is also really nice it's like little flowers that are on it and um, so these are both really nice alternatives and um, and I totally love this fabric in the summertime it's like so bright and fresh it's really nice and um, and I'm actually planning on making um, a top version so I'm gonna do this top version here with another cotton eyelet I pre-washed it last night I'm so excited about making it um, and it's really nice as well it's a bit more open that one as you can see but what I'm going to do is just line it with some plain cotton lawn underneath so I'll just cut out a piece of this a piece of this and sort of base them together before I start constructing the top and um, but then I'm going to leave the sleeves just that I can't wait to make it and um, I've got loads of dresses to make at the moment but I'm totally distracted and I want to make that so um that is the that was my first version of the simple classic dress I also shortened the sleeves because on the pattern the sleeves come and um, you can see there um, uh, oh that's okay don't worry you can watch it later um, so the sleeves come to sort of elbow length and I've actually just cut my I literally just cut it off 
and it was fine you know it just makes them like a little bit lighter I just as a personal preference thing I just prefer sleeves that are either shorter or I quite like three quarter length sleeves as well um, so but you can do that that's the good thing about a simple classic pattern is that you can totally put your own stamp on it so it's really really good so then my second version of this simple classic dress um, is this chick that's hiding in the back um, I've got, her, got it on a mannequin here, back a little bit. So as you can see, this one is totally different. Can you believe? Same pattern, I know, they're totally different. So on this one, I just completely left the sleeves off. I didn't do them at all. And what that actually ends up meaning is that this sort of strap section is quite wide. Normally on sleeveless tops, that would maybe be a bit smaller, but I actually quite like that it's wider. Um, I think it gives a nice effect and I just put binding on there. Um, just to finish it off because obviously we normally have a sleeve um, so and then if I can find it um, that was this fabric that I used it's so cool it's like really kind of bright and wild and a bit crazy but I think in a simple pattern then it actually you know it works quite well it's quite good um, so all of these fabrics that I've shown you um, the seer sucker one the alternatives for the embroidered one and this funky rare one um, are all um, in special offer this week including the Colette um, Laurel pattern they've all got 50% off um, and you can find the link um, in my profile if you're watching um, and you can see the blog post with all the photos and stuff of those dresses too um, but there, th this one especially I totally love it's just like so summery um, and I just totally love this fabric right now it's really exciting um, so I hope you found that um, useful and gives you some ideas I've still got three really exciting dress weeks coming up so um, next week is going to be the super comfy dress so stay tuned and I will show you what pattern I've chosen to be my super comfy dress for summer um, and then after after that we've got the breezy maxi and the cute everyday dress and um, so every Friday during July I'm going to be um, showing you different types of dresses and then for that week the pattern and the fabric is on special offer and um, if you live locally to Birmingham then come along on Saturday the 25th of July and um, to the shop where we're having like a special day just to celebrate everything like summer dress and um, so you can come and see loads and loads of samples that we've made up of all the dress patterns that we stock all the indie sewing patterns um, and we, we can help measure you and help you find your perfect summer dress so if you are able to make it to Birmingham in the UK and um, if you're watching abroad see UK and um, then please do come along for that but as I said um, for the next three Fridays there'll be new dresses up and then I'll do a little video for it as well so thanks for tuning in guys and um, feel free to ask me questions and leave me comments and uh, I'll keep track of them and I'll see you next time okay bye